there you go, what a fantastic start to the session. This one's over £20, you can't ask for anything more than that. This is from a day ticket water near Manchester, we'll tell you all about it later and the tactics we use to catch it. Let's slip her back and we'll speak about the tactics. You've joined me today at Stake Hill number no. 5. It's one of GI Fisheries day ticket waters uh, in Middleton near Manchester, so it's a northern water. There's five lakes in possession running down this area that's known as Stake Hill. This is number five, as I say. Now you can fish this on a day ticket, but you can also join as a syndicate, so you can night fish the waters. I haven't actually fished them before. I did, uh, did try and join last year, but with the lockdown you couldn't night fish, so I've had an opportunity to come up here uh, and try some tactics out. What I usually find on these waters is people tend to boily fish because there's carp in here over 20 pounds, so they think they're gonna eat lots of boilies. So I've come with a slightly different approach today uh, and it's paid off already. We've had a fish, which you saw earlier, so it's a great start to the session. But generally what I tend to do when I come to these waters is fish small baits, so lots of particles uh, and try and match the hatch, so to speak, or fish something very similar over the top of them. But again, keeping it all nice and small. And what I've decided to use on, the, on this particular session is tiger nuts and maize. Now these little, these little grab packs are perfect for this, for day sh and short sessions. And all I've actually done is I've, I've used a crusher, I've ground a few up using the whole maize. This, there's a few varieties of it, but this is chilli and garlic and anise. I think the, that garlic really plays a part in it. Uh, it is a proven car carp attractor garlic, so you know, don't stray away from it. What I've actually done with it because I've ground it up into little pieces like this. Put it into mesh sticks and hook baits. I've chose two different hook baits. One's a pop-up, uh, fished over the top. Now I won't put a stick on that. It's a 360 rig with a little trimmed down uh, yellow pop-up. So yellow is matching the maze. That's the idea behind that. Little short booms. So it's quite a clay hard bottom here. I had a little lead about when I came. It's quite solid, so you don't need long hook links. Just fish it on a little helicopter and that's critically balanced so it'll sit there nicely and attractive over the mix. Um, on, the, on the other rods what I've done is I've fished uh, a tiger nut. Now what I like about tiger nuts is carp, well, you don't need to use a lot of them by the way. Don't go throwing loads in like you would with boilers. You literally need a handful of these. What carp tend to do is they pick them up and they'll crunch them to get all that sugary goodness out of them and they'll actually excrete some pieces of it. So hence I think they think it's safe. So you'll see the odd, they'll see the odd piece dotted around the lake. They'll pick it up it's classed as safe so that's the, that's the reason behind the tiger nut fishing today and again I fished a little balanced tiger nut that's a little uh, combi rig with some fluorocarbon and a little soft boom uh, just fish uh, just tied all bright and style with a little blowback rig a little piece of um, tiger nut with a little piece of corn just to balance it so that sits now I'll fish that in combination with one of these little stick mixes another important thing about these grab packs is the PVA friendly so you can tie these up on your short sessions tie a few up just like I've done because if you're getting quick hits of fish you don't want to be messing about tying rigs up uh, and tying mesh bags up especially if it's raining so you can tie a few before you come down you don't need a lot of bait grind a few up uh, and that's your, that's your bait ready for the session one thing I have done with these just to have a little bit more attraction is I've added a, a particle uh, and boily booster now this is tight this is the tiger nut flavor and again this is pva friendly so you can glug the bait in that and again it adds a little bit more aroma some more attraction to the bait because what we're trying to do is boost the attraction with these maize and sweet corn isn't the most potent you know amino rich protein foods so just to add a little bit of added attraction this amino rich tiger nut liquid does the job for me so yeah two pretty simple rigs the tiger nut balanced tiger nut rig and the the big hip pop-up rig, that's the coconut um, and maple cream uh, little pop-up rig. They're the rigs for the session today. If it changes, it's warming up again. We've suddenly got a bit of warm weather after all the freezing cold days and nights. Um, we'll set a floater rod up and see if we can nick one on that maybe later. I'll catch you later and we'll see how the session goes.
Well, the session's drawn to an end. Um, we tried to catch those carp off the surface as the afternoon's gone on, the sun was out, the fish were cruising all over the place, but it was pretty obvious they didn't want to feed. We've had baits right in front of the noses. I've even had one carry the bait on its back, which we caught on video, which is quite hilarious, which I'm sure Matt will probably put up. But um, yeah, I can't complain, we've had a great session today. We've caught a fish over 20 pound this morning on the tactics that we talked about. So if you want to have, have a go at this place, Stake Hill number five, it's on the GI Fisheries card. See them on social media, on Facebook and what have you. They've loads of lakes, loads of fish in them all. Plenty of carp over 20, pushing 30 pound in plenty of the other lakes. So yeah, been a wonderful little session. Hope to see you all again. Catch you next time.